Hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about what I think are the best three places to buy property in the Republic of Cyprus for the year 2023. Before I start I just want to inform you of a few things that you need to look out for when buying property in Cyprus and the first thing is this VAT on new properties is 19 percent unless it is your principal and permanent residence in Cyprus in which case you will pay five percent up to 200 square meters now if the property goes beyond 200 square meters it will be 19 percent on the portion above 200 square meters but the Cypriot government were considering reducing this to 140 square meters the second thing please make sure when you buy a property it has title deeds this has been an ongoing problem in Cyprus for a number of years third thing older buildings can lose value Cypriots like new builds so the culture here is more akin to Dubai and Qatar rather than for example the UK Italy France or Spain where older buildings tend to keep their value fourth thing Please bear in mind, if you are from a non-EU EEA country, for example, the UK, which has left the EU and single market, you can only buy one property or up to 4,014 square meters of land. And you must apply to the Council of Minister, Ministers for permission to buy. Five, keep up to date with rules and regulations if you want to rent out your property. In the last couple of years, the Cypriot government has made it easier to evict a tenant for non-payment, which is good, but on the flip side, Airbnb rules have been getting tighter. From the 7th of February, 2023, owners of property who rent out real estate in Cyprus on a short-term basis and do not have a license to do so could face a prison sentence of up to one year or a fine of up to 5,000 euros so please be careful there and always check the political situation in Cyprus unfortunately the island is still divided now before I reveal the top three places to buy property in Cyprus in 2023 or at least in my opinion I want to briefly talk about a couple of places that didn't quite make it on the list and the first place is Ayanapa now, although prices in Ayanapa are quite cheap and there are some lovely beaches, it is just that bit too small and is very quiet. In, you actually very quiet in winter. Now, the place has actually less than 3,000 people living there permanently. And in winter, as I said, most places actually shut down. I also rejected Limassol on the basis that property is too expensive. It is too reliant on foreign buyers, particularly Russians, and is a mature market. Also, Limassol is over 60 kilometers away from both Larnaca and Paphos airports. Now, so there are some great things about Limassol. Um, the gross yields are pretty good at 5%, and also the nightlife here is fantastic. A lovely marina as well, bars, restaurants, clubs. Um, Limassol does have a lot in that respect uh, but unfortunately um, it doesn't make it into my top three so coming in at number three and this may surprise you but um, uh, there's some good reasons I think to invest here and it is Nicosia now Nicosia is the capital and the largest city in Cyprus with a population of around 200,000. 200, it has excellent infrastructure, good education facilities, high quality roads, lots of green spaces, and is a business city. A lot of multinationals have bases here, and crime rate for a European capital is extremely low. It is very family friendly city, and pretty much everybody speaks English. And property prices are very reasonable for your European capital. In fact, you can buy a new two-bedroom apartment in the core centre for well under 300,000 euros. Now, um, pr 
property is actually a he heck of a lot cheaper than um, Limassol. As I've said, Limassol, actually, some new builds are over 10,000 euros per square meter. Now, unfortunately, though, um, Nicosia is a divided capital due to the war in 1974. It doesn't have a beach. And more importantly, it doesn't have an airport either. But that said, I want to add gross yields are good um, in the capital. They are around the 5% mark. So I think Nicosia is definitely worth considering. It's the capital. Now, coming in at number two, and my favorite city, is Paphos. Now, Paphos has a population of around 35,000, so it is not exactly a large town, but Paphos is for me the most beautiful place in Cyprus. Apart from the lovely beaches, there are many noteworthy attractions such as the mosaics, the archaeological site, the tombs of the kings and the fort, to name but a few. Paphos also has large supermarkets, international schools and good medical care facilities. Paphos also has the largest zoo in Cyprus, there are museums, parks, and the town hosts cultural and film festivals. The nightlife is not too bad as well, especially of course in the summer. Another huge advantage of Paphos is that it has its own airport with flights to many European destinations and also Tel Aviv and Amman, the capital of Jordan. The great news is that property is still affordable at an average of between 1,700 and 2,000 euros per square meter, cheaper than Nicosia and much cheaper than Limassol. Another good thing is that generally high-rise buildings are not allowed in Paphos, so this will help ensure property prices will stay high in the future. They will not lose their value. Now, the disadvantages of Paphos is that it is not really in any way a business city and it's a long way from the capital Nicosia and Larnaca and a fair distance from Limassol. So many may say that um, Paphos is just that little bit too remote and this is why as much as I love Paphos it hasn't made it into the number one position and I just want to add uh, one other thing, the yields are not so great in um, Paphos either, so if you rent out long term, you are looking at around perhaps the 3.5% mark. If you're lucky, you may get 4%. So unfortunately, Paphos has not made it into the number one position. So which place, town, city or wherever has made it into number one? Well, the number one place for me is Larnaca. Now, there are a number of reasons why I've put Larnaca in the number one place to buy property in Cyprus. Firstly, property prices are very reasonable. They are well under 2,000 euros per square meter on average. Even apartments around Mackenzie Beach are often much cheaper than apartments in Limassol. So Mackenzie Beach is lovely, one of the best areas of Larnaca around there, fantastic property is much cheaper than many parts of Limassol. Uh, also, it is a market chiefly driven by local buyers, unlike Limassol and to a certain extent Paphos, driven by foreign buyers. Larnaca has the biggest airport in Cyprus, which flies to numerous destinations in Europe, but it also flies to Cairo, Yerevan, Tel Aviv, Dubai, Bahrain, Doha, Amman, Jeddah, Riyadh, Daman, and Beirut. So you can see this is quite some airport. Also, when compared to Limassol and Paphos, Larnaca is much nearer to the capital Nicosia. So many choose to live in Larnaca and commute to Nicosia for work purposes. Now from Limassol or Paphos, this would not really be feasible. So another advantage there, Larnaca also has quite decent infrastructure and international schools. Larnaca has a very pleasant climate which is mild and you, it's generally in winter not cold or damp and there are a number of cultural um, and ancient attractions here as well. 
But for me, the, the real clincher is future potential. Now, a new marina and port are being built in Larnaca, and this could create up to 4,000 new jobs. And that's quite a lot in a city of 72,000. And also, very important, it's estimated that this could actually bring in revenue annually of more than 100 million euros. So 100 million euros or more added locally every year to the economy. And this can only be good for the real estate market. The only downside of Launica is that if you decide to rent your property out, yields are lower than Limassol or Nicosia at around 4%, whereas I said you can probably get about 5% in Limassol in Nicosia. Also, if Cyprus were to unify, Larnaca may well lose out in popularity um, because it would face stiff competition from Kirinia. But nevertheless, I think as things stand, Larnaca for me is the best place to buy real estate in Cyprus for the year 2023. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I would love to hear comments below. And I shall see you very soon on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.